you say that you have hope that there will be change in Iran. What do you want to see the U.S. government do and other governments do to bring about that change in your home country? I want the U.S. government uh, to stick with their promises because dictators are really, really good at delivering their promises. But unfortunately, the democratic countries need to do more and they're not good at that. Why? Because, you know, when Biden administration say that we stand with the people of Iran, it gives me hope. But I want them to sit down and make a concrete decision to get their allies to be as united as dictators. Like, you know, now Khamenei is helping Putin. Mm. The war is in the heart of Europe. Khamenei and his gang of killers uh, are helping Hamas. We all saw that how Hamas raped Israeli women and took their lifeless body everywhere and filmed them. This is in the DNA of the Islamic Republic. So we are facing two wars, one in the Middle East, one in the heart of Europe. Islamic Republic is backing both of them. So I want the U.S. government to, you know, take the lead and ask its allies to designate the Revolutionary Guards as a terrorist organization and help us to have an Iran without Islamic Republic. Because believe me, we, the people of Iran, are better allies compared than these backward mullahs for Americans. You say that you would like to meet personally with President Biden, something that you have not done yet. What would you say to him if you were sitting down with him right now? President Biden, when you were young, you were against apartheid. Now this is gender apartheid in Iran, and you have to be loud. Just name it as it is. And I want him to meet with me because I want to look into his eyes and tell him that when we, the women of Iran, are saying that we want to end this gender apartheid regime, you cannot ignore us. I want to share my stories. I want to tell him that what the Iranian regime did to me on U.S. soil, it's, they're doing every single day to Iranian women. They rape women in prison. And I'm sure that um, we can do a lot. We can do a lot. And if you don't even want to meet with me, I'm not a criminal, then how come the U.S. government trying to negotiate with my killers? That's not fair. So for me, meeting is not just for my personal benefit. I want to give a picture of an Iran without the Islamic Republic and the U.S. government can have a policy, a strategy for, like, after these uh, killers. A secular democracy, Iran. They're not ready for that. We, the people of Iran, are ready. So I think a meeting would, uh, would, would be great. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.